Teaching a dog to lay down is one of those things that can sometimes be a struggle for them to learn. But today, I'm going to show you five different ways to come at the problem so you can make it happen. Ian here with Simpatico Dog Training. And before we get into lay down strategies, please make sure you are subscribed so you never miss any of our videos. Also, if you're new here, please give us a thumbs up and check out our other videos for training tips, product reviews, and more. Now, teaching a dog to lay down is one of those basic behaviors we strive to teach every dog in the first few weeks that we have them. It's one of the three basic positions along with sit and stand, and it's a wonderful way to settle a dog down or to have them stay for an extended period. Laying down is a little special though. Most dogs will pick it up right away with a basic lure reward training routine but other dogs can struggle with the concept. Certain breeds, such as Boston Terriers and Yorkies, for example, seem to generally just be totally baffled with down. So, to help you out, here are five strategies to teach down to your dog. Strategy number one, lure reward training. This is the most straightforward method, and it's the first one you should try. All lure reward train behaviors follow the same one, two, three, four formula. Request, lure, response, and reward. In this case, that looks like this. Say down. Use a food reward to lure the dog's nose down between the front paws. The dog should collapse into a laying position and immediately praise and reward the dog. Most commonly, this has started from a sit position since half the dog is already in the right place. That's okay to begin with, but as soon as you can get 10 in a row, start trying it from the standing position. Your dog should be able to lay down from either sitting or standing without unnecessary steps. Although lure reward training is the first thing you should try, sometimes it takes a little bit more to crack this nut. That brings us to strategy number two, building from a bow. This is lure reward training too, but we're taking a different approach on the luring bit. Stand or kneel to the side of your dog and using the food lure, move in between the front paws at an oblique 45 degree angle. The point is to get them to go into the same position as a play bow. Once you're getting the bow consistently, start dialing it in. Build repetitions. Then start pausing between the front feet. It won't take long for the bottom to just plop down. Praise big when you get it. Then build more repetitions on the fold down. On a side note, you could make this take a bow and then shape it to be down and still have both of those behaviors available to you. Strategy number three, shaping from the neck. Sometimes a dog won't be able to figure out what the expectation is and will give up quickly. If luring doesn't seem to work to get the dog all the way down, break the behavior down into smaller pieces. Perform the luring action as before, but reward initially for just lowering the head down to get it. As consistency builds, ask your dog to go further and further with it until they go all the way down. This is a time consuming method that can take several days, but I've done it before with stubborn dogs. When they finally lay down, boy, you had better make a big fuss about it. Strategy number four, all or none reward training, also known as the bathroom down. This is the easiest of all the methods because you don't really have to do much. Get about 20 or so food rewards and something to read. Pick a small room such as a bathroom or even a walk-in closet and close yourself inside with your dog. Have a seat and just start reading. Pay no mind to your dog, do your own thing. Your dog will eventually get bored with sniffing the corners and lay down. Immediately praise this behavior and toss a treat so that the dog has to get up to get it, thus setting them up to do it again. As the dog catches on and starts offering the behavior to get a reward, it will be a simple thing to transition over to putting the behavior on request, or what we call putting it on stimulus control. Simply say down right before they do it and reward them. Piece of cake. Be aware that once you leave the space you've done this in, your dog may need a bit of coaxing to realize this works everywhere. At this point, simple lure reward training should do it now. Strategy number five, shaping by bridging. This is the last resort because it's the most difficult to do and the most time consuming. Essentially, you will use a food reward to lure your dog to crawl under a bridge. This bridge could be a stool, your leg or bent knee, an end table, it just depends on the size of your dog. Make sure that you mark the behavior as soon as the elbows and belly touch the floor. Gradually shape this behavior by removing the bridge little bits at a time. Raise your leg or knee higher or remove the stool or chair. Incidentally, this is how I taught down to my Boston Terrier Bobo. Once he got the idea, it was easy to get rid of the bridge and use lure reward training to improve his performance. 
Now he's so good, he's perfectly prompt, precise, and polite. If you're struggling with down, here are some other aspects you should consider. Check the floor surface. Some surfaces weird a dog out and they resist laying down on it. Maybe it's too slippery or uncomfortable or just plain unfamiliar. Try a different place or have the dog try it on a blanket, a towel, or a bath mat. Once they get the idea, transition to other surfaces with lots of practice and praise. Also, think of ways you can set yourself up for success. For example, you could practice down after a long walk or after playtime. These are instances when the dog is more inclined to lie down anyways to rest. Don't forget to start phasing out the food lure as soon as possible. Once you've got lay down pretty well dialed in, get that food lure out of your hand and into your pocket. Remember, a lure is given to cause a behavior. Once the behavior is happening reliably, we don't need it. A reward then comes after the behavior like magic. It's not guaranteed or promised. In contrast, a bribe is used before the behavior to coerce them to perform. This is not how it's done for the long term. It's all about repetition, clear goals, and consistency. Finally, as always, be patient and be encouraging as they figure it out. Remember, teaching your dog things is a team sport. You're both working together. You'd cheer your kid on if they made a goal in soccer, so do the same for your dog when they hit a new accomplishment. Show enthusiasm and encouragement. You can do a lot when you do it together. So good luck nailing this if your dog is having some trouble. Relax and don't give up. It will get there. So questions. Which one of these approaches stood out to you the most? What tips do you have? And what are some other training conundrums you'd like me to help you with? Let's connect in the comments below. Please thumbs up this video if you learned something useful. And as always, keep learning, keep practicing, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.